All right, folks, we're here at the RTN Channel 10 studios uh, in downtown Raleigh. And what we're going to do is take you through the studio to show you the facilities here that we have at our disposal. So come on inside. The RTN studios are a public access city studios for the uh, county of Wake County. Let's go on in and take a look at the studio here. We have one of our uh, crew members here, John Batson, who is going to be working with us on the TV program. How's it going, John? It's going good. This is an exciting day. This is our first day at it's the actual exciting studios day. here. It's a thriller. So what do you think of the, the program in there, the, the crew? I think it's coming in. They're very professional. They know what they're doing, and it's a very professional set. What we're talking about is they're in there right now in the studios beginning to set up for a live broadcast uh, called Take a Stand that shoots at 7 p.m. on Thursdays here in Raleigh. And so what John and I and I leave behind the camera there are doing, and we're trying to get a couple more people involved in this, is we're here down here watching the actual uh, shooting of this show to get a sense of how they achieve their shots, how they achieve the actual program. So let's head on inside and see the studio itself and some of the editing software and the editing suites. Go on, be right there. Over here we have a bunch of the over here we have a bunch of the editing equipment uh, which is used to, to put together the, the programs that are not live, uh, which we'll be using uh, for our show as well. Let's go on into the studio. And we've got through here for uh, Take a Stand. They have a, a really loyal, good group of people who work on this program. Chuck Campbell getting ready to actually uh, shoot this show live throughout the city of Raleigh in the next, uh, oh, about 35 minutes here. And we have Katasha cameras, the studio set, uh, the blue screen back here, people want to use that. Also got this other set over here that we could use as well. A lot of these uh, studio quality cameras uh, provided by our taxpayer dollars. It's a great uh, setup here and we're looking forward to using this in a couple of months. Let's go back here and check out the control room. So this is this is control center here, uh, and they have all the uh, equipment set up to be able to do the swipes uh, for the actual monitors and such. I at least get a shot of that if you could. Yeah, it's been doing it here on this DVD. Yeah, but it has static. That's why I'm it. How? Why did? Why is that happening? That's the first time I've seen it happen. Noise or video static? Uh, video static. So, it's something like so what we've got there, what you just saw, is there's a couple of different monitors. We have the feed that's actually coming from the cameras, and then there's the feed that actually goes out to the station here. And there's the monitor here uh, that shows actually what's on RTN 10 broadcasting right this moment. Of course, this show is live, so things get really hopping here uh, 25 minutes, you know, 20 minutes before the show actually airs. Uh, but I was down here last week and they filmed it very well. We had a number of people calling in. Back here we have the editing suite, which is where you can edit together video uh, content for broadcasts on the RTN network uh, that is not live, which we'll actually be doing on our show. Let's go through to the editing suite. And in here, uh, this is really awesome because what we have here we have a couple of Apple computers the software program that they use is the Final Cut Pro and we really have the equipment available at our disposal to put together a really high quality television production as well as in here editing together uh, miniature short films or doing feature length films. Uh, Final Cut Pro is what's used by most people in the uh, television and movie industries as the uh, editing software of their program. So it's really awesome that we have this at our disposal here. We've got the, uh, the program room up here 
which is command central in terms of what's actually being shown right this moment to thousands of viewers around Raleigh. So let's walk on in there and take a look at that. So what we have here is this is actually where the program schedule is set up. This is where the program schedule is set up for the uh, station. Uh, we've got the different programs that are listed here and the times that they're broadcast uh, for the show. So this is where they actually set the program schedule for all of the, um, the television broadcasts for the IT studios. And, and this is where the servers are. You can tell it's all computerized. It's no longer uh, analog equipment. It's all digital in nature. And uh, it's just an awesome service that's available to us as taxpayers in Raleigh. And it's really uh, an asset to the community and the, and the city of Raleigh, North Carolina. All right, we're here at the studios, and right this moment, uh, Chuck Campbell is interviewing State Senator Fred Smith, who has just announced in the past few weeks that he is running for governor of the state of North Carolina. So let's walk in. We have to be kind of quiet because they're shooting right this moment live. Let's go in and take a look at the uh, the interview right now between Chuck and the senator. Be able to uh, uh, you the document that says what their wishes are. If they don't want to be put on life support, and that is right now we've got the interview between Senator right, Fred Smith um, and Chuck I think, Campbell. Uh, Chuck Campbell. I'd like to just ask you to back up because you talk about introducing a bill oh. for marriage right. and um, you know,